What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about patch 1.12. Now for anybody who doesn't know yet, you can actually log on to GTA 5 Online right now, either on the Xbox or the PlayStation, and you will be prompted to download the new patch. Now this new patch consists of a load of new things, including a bunch of fixes and a bunch of things that have been added in, and also Rockstar have confirmed that the capture content creator is going to be coming on Friday. Anyway guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below once again. Can we try shoot for something well over 500 likes, that'd be awesome. And with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, once again, I will have a link to the patch notes in the description below for you guys to check out, as there is far too many notes for me to cover in one video. Nevertheless, I am going to be telling you guys some of the top changes and fixes that Rockstar have implemented with patch 1.12 and starting off with one of the best additions. So a new Lester ability has been added into GTA 5 Online and players will now be able to call Lester to have him tell his cop buddies to turn a blind eye to any crime that you may or may not be committing for a short period of time. So this is a great new addition to GTA 5 and for anybody who doesn't know, I actually covered this in a previous video where I talked about all these kind of patch notes and this is one of them. So yeah, you guys can now go into online and use this to your advantage. One hell of a great addition, although it may be overpowered in the hands of those tank griefers out there. We will have to wait and see how this actually turns out. Anyway, moving on to one of the next important patch notes, and that is every time a player likes or dislikes content, they will now receive 50 RP. So for anybody out there using other people's custom races and stuff, if you either like or dislike the content that is obviously provided to you, then you will get 50 reputation each time. Now that is a great addition once again. I'm not going to be reading out all of these patch notes or all, even all of these top changes on the patch notes itself. I'm only going to be reading out some of the most important ones to me and also to you guys as well. So once again, if you guys do want to see this full list of patch notes, a link will be in the description below for you guys to do that. Anyway, moving on once again, fixed an issue where players lost the Gusenberg Sweeper despite having purchased it during the Valentine's event. Now, this personally never happened to me, but I do feel for the players that did buy it and then they lost the gun because that really would piss me off big time. Anyway, moving on to another important patch note, and that is fixed an issue where players were able to render themselves and the car they were driving invisible to grief other players. So that is basically the invisibility glitch and rocks that have finally got around to fixing that. And they've also fixed an exploit where players were able to use weapons within their apartment and garage to kill other players. So that was a few of the top changes. I did actually cover a few of these changes in the past. So now I want to talk about one of the main, main fixes, which is the fact that a lot of these duplication glitches are now patched. Although I do believe there may be a new one out already. I am not entirely sure I am looking into that. So do leave a like if you want to see a new one on my channel very shortly. Anyway guys, with that said, as you can see, the patch note for that is fixed multiple exploits where players could duplicate vehicles, and there is also a patch note at the bottom which says fixed an exploit where players could duplicate their personal vehicles by blocking the entrance to their garage. So that's just stating that they have definitely patched some of these car duplication glitches, but rest assured, I will find another one for you guys very shortly. Another patch note is fixed an issue where purchasing ammo for a dropped weapon could occasionally allow it to be saved to the player's character, so that's one of the patch notes again. Fixed an exploit where the player could gain RP for dying with a wanted level while in the army base slash prison while on missions. So that's just stating that they have fixed the RP glitch, which was in the army base. I don't know if you guys remember that I actually posted that. I think it was around a month ago. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, they have now fixed that. Also, guys, they have basically patched money glitches, I believe. I'm not entirely sure if there's still some money glitches out there, but a lot of these money glitches do require the duplication glitches to work, and considering a lot of these duplication glitches are now patched, some of the money glitches are going to be rendered useless. So a few of these money glitches are patched. Once again, I'm not entirely sure. Nevertheless, moving on to one of the main fixes and also the last patch note that I am going to be talking about, and that is fixed multiple exploits where players were able to move a variety of non-allowed vehicles into online. So I'm not entirely sure what Rockstar do mean by this, but I do presume that they have now patched the single player to multiplayer cars glitch where you could bring single player cars into multiplayer. Hopefully they haven't. I'm going to have to go and test this myself. Nevertheless, if they have, rest assured, I would try to find you guys another glitch on that. 
And that is where I'm going to leave the commentary. Once again, guys, if you want to see the full list of patch notes, as I can't read every single one out to you guys, there is so many, that would make for a really long and boring video. So you guys can go ahead and check them all out individually for yourselves. So once again, link in the description below. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try to shoot for something well over 500 likes? That would be awesome. And I will also be trying to get you guys a new duplication glitch as soon as possible. So make sure you leave a like if you want to see that. Anyway guys, if you want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD. We are always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. Anyway, with that said, I shall see you all in the next video.